Welcome to video number nine of the 30 videos in the Excel for Stock Market series, where we publish 30 different Excel templates and we explain them in 30 videos in 30 days. And if you have not seen any of the previous videos, please do click on the playlist link, which we will provide in the video description and in the top right of your video uh, on YouTube. If you would like to download any of these templates, they are available on inzara.com. The URL is on your screen as well. Now in this video, we're going to see the Forex market tracker, which you see on screen here. Um, this is, you can, you can actually change the chain rate, uh, the price to the change percent. So this is the Forex market tracker template. In this video, we will see how we can um, use this template as well as I will give you an overview of how the template is built. Again, trying to keep the video um, not too long and hence I'm not going to go into each of the formulas, but I'm giving you an overview where when you can download the template and for free, uh, you can then um, open the template and look at the formulas. And if you have specific questions, please post them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer um, those questions. Now let's um, get started. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel if you have not. And if you like the content, please share with your friends so that they can also benefit um, from the content. Now let's get started with how to use this template first. So this template, um, it's the Forex market tracker, uh, the foreign exchange rates between the two pairs. So for example, um, Euro to USD, um, let me change it back to price first. So it's a little bit easier to explain. Euro to USD. So one Euro is 1.1933 US dollars. One Euro is 1.54 US dollars. So basically this is just the um, foreign exchange rate between these specific currencies that have been uh, added here. And this data can be refreshed by just clicking data and then refresh all. Now you'll see that this has gotten refreshed. Uh, my calendar, my clock says 552 here and you can see this is refreshed as of 550 so um, pretty close uh, and it, it does get updated you know i'll remind myself to update this in a minute to see if it updated um, so you'll get pretty good um, updated data on these exchange rates so as a user here you can change this to change percent and this means whether the rate has increased or um, decreased so the orangish red ones are the negative ones and then the positive ones are in green so you can see them um, clearly and another um, uh, thing is the um, you can toggle between this an idea came up when I was just doing this where I can actually change the colors for the diagonal area because the diagonals are uh, not applicable because that's euro to euro. That's basically one if you want to count it. Um, so I'm let me let's try and see how we can change that to white color instead in this video live. Now before I do that, I just want to show you that the, these are the um, currencies and I've put the flags and these are um, copy pasted flags. So these are not dynamic flags. And um, in the in in a previous video. When we talked about the foreign exchange um, price chart, we talked about how you can build dynamic flags. So we can use the same approach and make it dynamic. But in this case, I decided to um, keep it simple and just copy pasted the flags. Though now let's talk a little bit about how the template is built. Um, the template uses this Forex data sheet, which is where I have done the different pairs from currency and to currency. And then I've put the ticker symbol, I have the rate calculated here, and then the change. So this is where the, um, this is the ticker, which is the stock data type, and this is the key here. And this table, once we, for example, if we want to add another pair of currencies, then I can, you can enter them here, and then it will get updated. So that is the source of the data for our, um, the Forex rates tracker sheet. Now in the Forex rates tracker sheet, we have embedded a formula which says, if the user chooses price, then go and pull the price information or the rate information. If the user chooses something else, then go and pull the change percentage. That's it, it's a very simple if, then, else, this um, formula that we have written. And, and then um, in this formula, we are saying Euro, 
to euro if it's the same then put a blank so we have just done if b4 equals c3 then put a blank that's why you see nothing over here okay so now that that is the basic concept of how it is done let me let's go and try to format this to make it show only white so for example i can go in here i'm going to select all these cells and i will show you the um, current the conditional formatting we already have so you can see that if it's a change percent and if it's less than zero then mark it with this orangish color if it is greater than zero mark it with green so i'm going to go ahead and take copy this formula cancel now we'll do new rule and use a formula click this this time i'm going to do c4 equals blank and now this time i want it to be um i want this to be white in color so it's trying to print on my computer there we go number fill white okay so let's say okay apply there we go so now this entire section which is blank is now white in color so i can now change this to price and now when we do price we don't do the conditional formatting when we do the change percent because it's an increase or a decrease we apply the colors so this is how you can easily modify the conditional formatting according to your needs and you can also change the colors now if you need to add a new country or a currency for example replacing this currency so instead of me typing in jpy you will type in some other currency and then you will also have to do the same here both places once you do that now you need to make sure that you are entering those combinations so let's say for example i want to create combinations of let's say great british pound and indian rupee for example so now this one we need to now make this into a ticker symbol so i'm going to go ahead and do this and now i need to tell excel hey this is a stocks data type so i've done that now it is pulled in that information automatically now um this is only i've only done it for you know great uh british pound but if i want to do it for all the other ones i need to go and select them let's say for example and now i need to make indian rupee appear in all places and then i also have to i think japanese is there twice so let's do this first and i do not see us dollars so let me put us dollars uh new zealand canada okay there we go and i need to enter usd inr oh that's wrong usd inr okay so now we have a bunch of um currency related ones related to india so now let's go here and change um this one to inr I haven't changed the you know I haven't changed the uh flag yet but let me just do the price and now you see that INR USD to 1 USD is worth 72.55 INR right and you can see that USD INR is 72.55 so the formula is automatically pulling all this information So all we have done let me re recap the steps if you want to add your own currency make sure that you create the from and to pairs for your new currency okay and this one is a formula that will automatically populate then you need to copy and paste those pairs in here in the ticker symbol then enter make them as stock data type that's it then everything will everything is done in the sheet now go back to the forex rates tracker now you need to enter the new currency here as well as here in this case and then you can copy paste the flags uh, if you like um so that's how you can customize this template um, i just used an example of the last one to be replaced you can replace any of this 
Um, everything is uh, customizable as you need. Please try using this template and give me your feedback. If you think that uh, this is helpful, please post your comments in the comment section below. Uh, any suggestions to make this better, please let me know. And we will continue our journey and with Excel in stock market, data visualization and analysis in um, another video tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching.